So, today is the day. Got my buddy coming over. We're gonna wipe out his WRX. Um, Lava Boy Media is coming over. Link down below. He's going to be filming. It's gonna be a good day, and I am very, very tired. I never get up earlier than like maybe 10. Start the day up. To start the day off, what we're gonna do is some rolling shots as like a little before, and then we're gonna come back, we're gonna jump right into cutting it up, installing it, and seeing what else we can do from there. be a long day. Very long day. <laughs> no, more so for you and Steven than me. Oh, it's gonna be a long day for everybody, but yeah. it'll be worth it in the end. Ken's in the back. <laughs> Comfy back there? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna start out with getting some rollers of the thick boy and the non-thick boy. Kind of like a before and after picture, but... Yeah, something like that. Trying to not swing as much so you're not flying back and forth in there. It's kind of weird because they got literally the exact same colored car and everything. So we're doing our little intro filming thing with Ken. As soon as we're done with this, we're gonna go ahead and start the process. This is the mom car with Ken, Josh, and Tucker in it. Well, I'm just tired. Yeah, dude. Did I, I tell you about the cats? No, what happened? Until 4 a.m., dude. They were messing with you? They were messing with me, but it felt like they were messing with me. Very that was, that was a good first <laughs> first try. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, that was the first. Oh, we got the car masked off now. We gotta address a couple things like the fitment right there. I mean, the rest of it is all masked off. So we're working on the panels now, getting some of the drilling. Got all this masked up. I pull off this panel so I don't it up. And then for this specific kit, we're gonna have to cut straight across, and up, and follow around this body line. And we gotta hug it down around here. You just gotta adjust the bumper sag right now. You gotta pull all the wheel well liners out, all the way around. We got our cut lines all marked up. Before we officially start cutting, we're gonna match up the fully assembled rear end of it up and see what actually shows and what actually needs to be cut. We want to cut it up as much as we can for wheel clearance, but we don't want to pull it too close to this. We don't want to go too far down because the side skirt actually has to rest right here where this line is, so it sits off of the car. We got the all these drilled out, and we click it with them over here to figure out our exact cut lines where it's going to mount. Obviously, these are the mounting, mounting holes all the way around. Now you're going to do a little, little cutty boy action. 
Teddy boy. Some hot boy mods. Some hot boy mods. Did I reveal it to people? I don't think you should. I'm gonna record it for my I own think knowledge, this be, and then yeah, maybe exactly. maybe like sell this, this is video clip. Our secret. To get these panels nice and flush, we run hardware. hardware between the sandwich mating services. One and two. One and two. And I'll forever bind these together in forever. one unit. Forever bind. So it's like a fake <laughs> body line. One ring to rule them all. So Josh here said that snapple bottles won't break as long as the lid's on them. They're and I dared him to, to. to prove it and uh, <laughs> elf of the day. <laughs> They're not five supposed to break. Seconds, dude. They're five seconds, Five seconds. <laughs> I was literally gone for five well, seconds. Well, he just debunked that shit <laughs> real quick. Did he like legit try to break yes, it? Yes, he f tossed it on the ground. He was just like, you retarded. Is this one out of the glass? Though? Yeah, it's one of I didn't think it blew up like that. Uh, I did. I 100% did. That's why I was like, go ahead, do it. <laughs> you wanted that to happen. <laughs> you can <laughs> Hey man, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna go drink my juice now. Have fun cleaning up the shame of what was a Snapple bottle. <laughs> Working on the rears for right now. We're gonna have Phil come down and get this stuff welded. So then once we get those done, we'll be able to start on the front fenders. And the front fenders are pretty much just cut and dry. You just gotta cut them. Don't even have to sand them, do anything. Just gotta make them look good. Bro, your face right now. <laughs> You scared me? I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. Those shorts are about to be hard on. PGY. Piggy. 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 Project Piggy. Welcome to Project Piggy Kids. <laughs> Project. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm getting this door panel lined up. While y'all sitting on y'all ass. You. <laughs> needle nose. I need needle nose. 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 Oh, good needle. Oh. Just need some final sanding. Put these fit nice and snug. We're almost there. Almost there, dude. So we got the walnuts on. All the walnut, walnut, all the way. Front of the side skirt right there. Got everything cut, welded, and sealed. We're waiting for it to dry now. For this guy, you want to make sure it's flush all the way. Obviously, a lot of these cracks and stuff in the coating is going to get fixed by the paint shop. Yeah, it's flush. flush. The tires, how wide they are, we had to cut the side skirt here. We had to modify. All this is going to get cleaned up. We had to modify so it fits. But as soon as that is dry on the quarter panel, we can go ahead and put the quarter panel panels on and call it a night.
really doing it. <laughs> Finally, all done. We're done. We're done. Yeah, bro. Be safe.